here. I'm opening boxes of stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now the one thing I'm kind of concerned about <clears throat> is I'm not an electrician. I've done this a few times, but it always gets me nervous. Splicing wires together. But other, other than that, these should be just plug and play. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. New headlights on the LMM Duramax. What is up, Loud and Proud crew? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fabulous. So we are going to be installing some new headlights on this beautiful 2008 LMM Duramax. So hopefully we don't have any complications, but you know, projects on trucks tend to go with complications. Hopefully not, but you know how that goes. Um, and these are going to be LED projectors, which I think is what this truck has on right now. But I want to go with a little bit darker, a little bit cooler look. These aren't bad, they're just not my favorites. So hopefully with this new headlight, it's going to really give it that added aggressive look. And then at some point here, probably not in this video, but at some point here, just in general, we got to polish this thing up just to get it shiny and clean again because it's just been a pain in the butt to keep it clean with this weather we've been having. Um, Another update, we're going to be installing a three inch leveling slash lift kit on this truck. So cats out of the bag, I'm just going to tell you right now, that's what we're doing. Three inch lift kits going on this truck and it's going to look really good because the wheel and tire setup that I'm going with on this truck is not going to be a 14 wide, it's not going to be a giant rim, it's, not, it's, going, to be a, it's going to be a really good look and I couldn't decide between all terrain and mud terrain because everybody was going so 50-50 either way. Mud terrain won by a little bit, but it was just too close. So I went with something in between. You guys will see that. It's a hybrid tire. It's a really aggressive all terrain slash kind of like a little bit more mild mud terrain. So it's right in the middle, but it's gonna look it's gonna look really really good on this truck. And I'm also going with a style of wheel that I've never done before. It is still Anthem because, you know, we love Anthem and Anthem, Anthem loves us. So we're gonna go with Anthem still, but we're not gonna be going with the normal style that we've gone with, which is just your basic spokes and then with a big deep lip. It's gonna be a little bit different. It's kind of got that tactical vibe to it, that kind of tactical cool feel. And I think it's gonna look really good. So let's get into getting these headlights ripped out and getting the new ones put in. Ready, set, go! Oh, wait, you, you guys don't get to see that. So what we're gonna do here is get this other headlight installed, hopefully it's not going to take as long because now we know what to do. And then, get the grill thrown on that was poorly designed by Chevy with way too many clips that like tear your fingertips open. And then we're going to get this thing slap, hood slapped down, pull it out of the shop. And I think you guys are going to love the headlight setup on this truck. It looks really, really freaking good. We did get the new headlights put on the Duramax, but we are going to have these ones for sale. I'm gonna try to throw these on the store tonight if I can. And if you do purchase these, it will count for entries to win this truck. So keep that in mind. If you want these headlights, I'm gonna list them for just 75 bucks. They're in really good shape. All the LED stuff, everything works about them. You just don't need them. Obviously, we've got new headlights and we'll see those in just a minute. They look really good. But these are gonna be for sale on the store. There will be a link in the description of this video, hopefully. Um, they could be sold before the video even goes up, I don't know. But these are for a 2007 and a half to 2010, I believe, or 11 um, Duramax. So just check to make sure, but these are coming off of an 08. So whatever's compatible with that and will fit your truck, keep that in mind, because that's what these are. I'm gonna show them around these really quick. They're a little dusty, but they're not, I mean, they're not broken, they're not cracked. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're in good shape, so. We're gonna box these up. These should be on the store. Keep in mind, they do go towards giveaway truck entries. Every $15 is another entry. Keep that in mind. So I got my Anthem koozie. If you wanna buy a loud and proud koozie, link in description. Actually, why don't I have an LMP koozie here right now? I've got like tons of these things at home, but I just don't carry. I haven't. I don't. We haven't brought any over to the shop yet. But if you want an LNP koozie, they're only four ninety eight. Just grab three of them. You can enter to win the truck, or just grab a decal on a koozie. Or because some guy, some guy made a comment. He's like, dude, how come? How come you have your store set up to where there's no way we can spend just the bare minimum to enter? I'm like, dog. There's koozies. 
they're five dollars, decals are ten, or keychain is ten, or anything. There's a lot of other things that are ten. Or there's now what do we have on there? We have coffee cups, Post which face. are like almost fifteen bucks exactly, mm -hmm. which would get you an entry. And then there's posters. Po well, posters are more than fifteen. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to list things that there, there's yeah there's keychains, there's decals. There's all sorts of stuff. There's wristbands now that are five bucks. You can buy a ten dollar thing and a five dollar thing, and just just barely spend the minimum, and you're still entered to win the truck. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to spend a ton of money. I'm not saying we don't appreciate it because that's kind of how we can even do this stuff, but you don't have to. Don't feel like you have to. And this here is my lawnmower, and I'm showing it to you just because. No, but here's the uh, headlights on the truck. Yeah, what do you think about those, Reagan? They're cool. You like them? Chevy made it pain in the butt. Bow tie till I die. Those were actually not that bad. The thing that sucked. The grill. The grill. Headlights, once we did it the first time, easy getting it out, right? Yeah. But the grill, Chevy, you sons of guns. That thing makes your fingers bleed to try to get those freaking clips out. Like, it is not fun. It probably would have been easier if we had needed all those pliers, but we just didn't. But I'm used to like the Dodge grill, which is like four screws and you're done. And then the whole thing just lifts up out and off, which is so simple. And anybody with a simple screwdriver or a 10 mil socket can take that off. This, it's not, the concept of it isn't that bad, but it is just a little bit more inconvenient and it's just a little bit annoying. So we're going to get this garage door opened up and get this truck pulled out of here. Everybody, here is the final look around of these headlights. They do look really good, guys. I mean, they do look awesome. Of course, this truck's going to be getting a lot of work done here, and um, in the next video or two here, you should probably see the lift kit we're putting on this truck, and it's going to bring in a whole different look, whole different stance, and uh, the new wheel and tire stance is going to be on here soon. Here's a look at the old Whitey here. This truck. Uh, <laughs> This truck has seen better days, but I am going to actually buy this off of my dad and then uh, we're going to actually be using this for some videos. So that's going to be pretty freaking cool. So hopefully you guys are excited about that. It's going to be a pretty cool, fun little project that uh, hopefully isn't too much of a pain in the butt to get done. Keep it as cheap as possible and keep it as almost like a budget build because I know there's a lot of guys out there that maybe they want to get a diesel but they can't go out and buy a fifteen thousand dollar you know perfect condition diesel truck there are actually a lot of trucks like this the guys are parting out but they actually still run they still technically drive and roll around however they're in kind of rough shape so they're kind of an eyesore at first but really with some work put in they're drivable trucks they're good enough like they will run and drive they will get you from a to b just fine like this truck honestly it looks rough as crap but I'd probably be comfortable taking this a few hours, no problem. So for a lot of you high school kids out there, you may be like, hey, I've seen a truck that, you know, it's got a banged up front bumper, rear bumper, the bed's kind of shot, you know, it's got a little bit of rustling cab corners, but the frame, it really isn't horrible, and it does drive straight down the road, and it is four wheel drive, but it's like three grand. This would be that type of a build that we're gonna try to replicate on like a budget, budget, cheap, cheap, still running and driving four-wheel drive diesel truck so that's kind of what i was thinking on this you guys can let me know what you guys are thinking um, but that's kind of what i had in mind to be quite honest with you guys so let me know what you're thinking i'm thinking about keeping the wheels and tires that he had on it but like stancing them out with some spacers or something just to kind of fill out the front fender here a little bit because we're actually probably going to keep the front fenders the uh uh my mud guards or brush guards sorry or fender flares my bad keep don't even know what they are um, we're probably going to keep those but then actually 
just stance it out just a little bit more to kind of fill it out but then just get rid of the bed and put something else on there as a bed so i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what you guys think would be a kind of a cool build i think that'd be kind of a cool concept for you guys to be able to see a rough truck like this go from what it looked like even before it had the other tires on it to actually a road worthy running and driving pickup truck and keeping the build like under five thousand dollars total between the cost of the truck and the actual parts that we do actually do to it so keep that in mind leave that information down in the comment section below what you guys think we should do with that go check out some lnp hats hoodies we got wristbands for five bucks that say make money not excuses knock off the excuses and uh, bring on the improvements and get the get that green stack and you know what i'm saying and once you realize there's really no excuses to be made and you have complete control over your uh, future and your destiny so uh yeah take action thank you guys so much for all the love and support stay tuned for this truck build it's going to be pretty funny and uh, this one keep in mind you guys could be winning this truck it's a 2008 lmm duramax super clean rust free great condition runs awesome and uh, a note that i want to make somebody said in the comments the other day because i mentioned i said there's been some people that like oh don't drive the giveaway truck to drive your own truck and um and somebody made a comment he's like you guys that are complaining about that he's like you guys are stupid he's like think about it if he's driving that truck daily that just goes to show it's not a pos and it's a daily drivable reliable pickup that's running great otherwise i would not be driving that thing all the time and it runs it does really run really good so just keep that in mind that's actually a really good point if it's just sitting around not being used You'd be more to question about that than a truck that's actually being driven, if that makes sense. Don't forget to enter this giveaway. Every $15 is another entry to win, and you guys could be taking that truck home. Thank you so much. Leave a fat like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.